In Google Cloud, firewall rules are used to control access into your networks. Let's talk about those now. In the last video, I created this machine web server, which I put into my custom network called DugNet. At this point, I want to be able to SSH into that machine so I can configure it as a web server, but I don't have any firewall rules, so I need to create those now. From the menu, let's choose VPC network and then click on firewall. Now notice there are some firewall rules that have been created here already, but these are all for the default network. These are not for my custom network, which I did create. So let's create two firewall rules. One will allow SSH traffic so we can SSH into the machine and configure it. And the other firewall rule will allow HTTP traffic so we can communicate with our web server. So let's click create firewall rule and we're going to give our rule a name. So we'll call it Dugnet. That's the name of my network and then allow dash SSH. We'll scroll down a little. We want to make sure we pick the right network. Dugnet. This is an ingress rule. We're controlling traffic coming in and we're going to allow traffic to all instances on the network. So all of the machines on our network. And then the source filter that controls which machines are allowed to try to SSH in. Now for simplicity, we're just going to say 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0, which is every machine in the world, which is not really the most secure way of doing that. But for our demo, that'll be good enough. And then we're going to allow which ports we're going to allow traffic on. So SSH is port 22 and then hit create and that'll create that rule. So down here, that's the first rule that we've created. Now we want to create another firewall rule. And this one we're going to name dugnet-allow-http. Again, pick the network that we're creating the rule for. This is going to be an ingress network and we're going to allow traffic based on a particular tag. So we're only going to allow HTTP traffic to machines that have a tag, which we'll call web server. And under IP address ranges, again, we'll allow every machine in the world to be able to access our web server. And then again, we have to specify the port. So we're going to specify port 80 in this case, and then hit create. Okay, now we have our two firewall rules. Let's see if they work with our machine. So first of all, let's go back to Compute Engine. And we'll click on the SSH button. And if we get in, that means that SSH firewall rule was successful. Okay, we're in. Now we want to configure this machine to be a web server. So we'll type sudo apt update. And now we'll type sudo apt install Apache web server minus y for yes. Okay, that's finished. Now let's test it out. So we'll exit out of here. Now what we'll do to test it is take the IP address of that machine and paste it into a browser tab. Now notice, at this point it doesn't work. Now the reason it doesn't work is because when we created that HTTP firewall rule, we added an, a target tag to it and this machine does not have that network tag required for the firewall rule to apply. So let's click 
on the server and then let's click edit and we're going to add that firewall rule to this network tag section now our rule was web server so that can be any string you want it to be and now we're going to hit save and the machine will save that tag and then once the tag is saved then this request should work Okay, in this demo, we saw how to create firewall rules for your Google Cloud Platform networks. I'm Doug Renstrom with ROI Training.